quick round before uh, before game four tonight. 44 front nine. Um, plus eight, not ideal. So it's Friday, I think it's day 12. I don't even know what day is it anymore, but um, game four against Columbus, obviously last night, uh, tough loss and facing elimination as um, as Montreal is just uh, sent Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh backing. Hopefully that doesn't happen to us tonight, but uh, probably not. I got faith in our boys, so. Um, yeah, we're gonna head out to dinner for first and then uh, take you guys to the game and look for a big big dub ski to uh, keep the season alive. craziest game I've ever seen. Ever seen. Joe, you ever seen anything like that? No, sir. No, sir. Um, I still can't believe that happened. That was the wildest game I've ever been at or ever seen. Uh, but but ended up uh, taking care of this business. And now it's off to game five on Sunday. So uh, still still anything can happen, but uh, what a group effort by our guys to uh, come, come back and win an LT. So uh, excited for game five. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I 
I still can't believe that <laughs> that game happened and that comeback. So um, I, I saw Justin Bieber's <laughs> Instagram post where he was jumping around after the tying goal, I believe, and that's that's exactly how I, I felt at the moment. So uh, that was that was funny to see, but yeah, somehow. Somehow trying to uh, bring the heart rate down a little bit, finish the night off with uh, some more hockey. It's Minnesota, Vancouver. Uh, Vancouver's up 2 1 in the series. So, uh, yeah, it's it's past midnight. It was a late game. So, uh, trying to uh, trying to calm it down a little bit and get some get some rest get some rest for tomorrow. So um, one thing that's been um, asked a lot is why I'm vegan and the plant-based diet seen on the vlogs a little bit. So uh, I thought I'd answer a little bit of that those questions. So um, the first of all, pretty much, it's for me, it's just a healthier diet. I mean, I eat more plants and, and I kind of put more focus on my diet. And in that way, I'm, I'm looking for that uh, competitive edge. Uh, just just like training and whatever else I might do and I feel like vegan diet fits that um, competitive edge and trying to get better as an athlete and so number two is the uh, the ethical reason so uh, pretty much killing animals for food and uh, what animal agriculture is doing to our planet is not okay with me and, and obviously if I can fill my diet with something else that doesn't support those things then uh, I'm all for it and so it's I'm not I don't feel like I'm giving up on proteins by not eating meat I'm definitely getting enough enough protein on from the plant-based diet number three is uh, humans are really not made to eat meat uh, but that's I'm not a doctor or anything so uh, don't don't come to me on those questions but pretty much our teeth are made to grind plants uh, and also our uh, digestive system is much longer for to uh, take care of those plants that we eat other than uh, the lion has a lot shorter uh, digestive system which is just enough for going through uh, going through meat so uh, yeah I don't think we're really built to built to eat meat so I feel like that kind of fits the vegan diet for me well as well number four uh, this is something me and my wife haven't really talked about in public before uh, but it's about our daughter Fox she was um, she was diagnosed with uh, metabolic disease at uh, newborn screening so it's pretty much uh, like a protein allergy is what you would call it, but uh, she's enrolled at, at Sick Kids here in Toronto, which is like the best best uh, hospital for for children in in the world. So, um, but yeah, that kind of she had a mild case of it, so uh, her numbers were pretty good, but uh, they still put her on on medication, and then now actually when we switched over to uh, the plant-based diet um, about a three months ago. Um, we, ca we came here before obviously coming into the bubble and uh, they had a checkup at, at SickKids and uh, her, her numbers were like way better so uh, they pretty much told, told us that if we're off, we're on the plant-based diet then uh, she pretty much doesn't need her medication anymore so that's that's huge that's big news for us so uh, I know that's one big reason for for us to keep going and stay on the plant-based diet so uh, and, and I think to me it's kind of funny how um, people are lactose intolerant and can't really handle dairy and then what's going on with with our daughter with the plant-based diet kind of fixing her disease and uh, just kind of makes you think do we really need to eat the 
the animal products but yeah i mean that's that's about it if i'll try to answer if you guys have any more questions about the plant-based diet i mean i'm not here to tell what's wrong and what's right like i know the guys on the team still eat big steaks right next to me and that's more than fine like that's just that's my decision to uh eat plant-based and that's their like i'm not judging or anything i'm not to me it's just better i'm not saying this might be better for someone else so uh that's just my stand on it but um yeah if you want to educate yourself on on this a little bit then netflix has some good good documentaries like uh cowspiracies one there's forks over knives and for the athletes uh game changers is pretty good but i understand those are pretty biased on the plant-based diet and uh but yeah that's a, that would be a good good starting point if you're interested and uh hope you guys are and also my wife does post um uh, some some good recipes she cooks cooks for us she's she spoils me uh with her with her plant-based uh dinner so make sure to uh check her instagram out and yeah you can find some inspiration there probably and kind of see what what we eat day, day to day so um yeah but that's kind of about that's about it for for uh me and my family being vegan. So since I have a uh, long deep adobo with the vegan stuff, so I'll, I'll finish up with one question from you guys, and it's, do you guys hang out with players from other teams during downtime, like a dinner or activity spots within your bubble? Um, so not really. I mean, there's been so many games, like you play every other game or you go back to back, and there's games from morning to late at night, so. I you've I've seen some friends from other team like in the hotel lobby or whatever walking to the rink and stuff, but um, that's that's about it. I mean, at first I think the first five days we were still in quarantine and and there's still strict rules with social distancing and stuff. So, um, but yeah, not not really. I mean, uh, everybody's so busy. We're at practice or game every day, so um, and. We gotta get our rest in when we can so i'm sure some of the other guys have seen with some guys who they played with so uh but for myself not not really no and once again thanks guys for watching uh that was a that was a fun episode with with the crazy game um big win looking forward to game five um so yeah make sure to uh like the video and subscribe much appreciated and i'll see you i'll see you soon